Find It Make It was founded around sustainability. There's no shortage of garbage. There's no shortage of people that want to better their situation. And there's no shortage of people that want to keep learning. I'm Jonathan Alvarico. I'm the lead designer and fabricator here at Find It Make It. My name is Nicholas Billings. I am in charge of uh, video production and digital publishing for Find It Make It. My name is Shane Sosh and I am the Director of Research and Development for Find It Make It. You're not buying a cutting board, you're not building a cutting board. What you're doing is you're buying into the idea that if, if we can take this much out of the trash can, then we'll have this much more in the future. Once we show our community how easy and how significant it is to repurpose something, that's just going to grow and grow. Denver's a great community for us to be based in. I say community because that's exactly what we are. We're a community of artists, intelligent people, designers, fabricators, and not all of us have what we need to make our dreams come true. So that's what we're here for. We're going to help you out. We're going to create a community that you can come to our shop. We can help you with some of our tools that we have that you might not. We can help you with some of our knowledge that we have that you might not. We really just want to help out and create a support for you. We want to teach everyone that this is something you can do and your education is number one to us. Within the next three years, I see Find It Make It being a household name. People will talk to their friends about Find It Make It, talk about the amazing workshops they experienced. We'll grow from being a company to a community effort. It's when you involve your community and get the excitement of the community behind you, you can really start to do something very special. We want to provide a workshop, a space where people can come and learn. Teachers to teach those people that want to come and learn. But most of all, we want to provide a foundation for people to create a community where they can teach one another. With your contributions, Find It Make It's going to have its first shop, as well as four full-time employees. With these resources, we'll be able to start offering workshops to our community, where we encourage community members to come in and educate themselves. I feel like what prevents most people from using their hands or just diving into a project is the fear of not knowing how to do something. We're gonna take down those barriers, take away that fear, and really build up our customers and the people around us.